Albert Einstein, Tim Burton, Michelangelo, Steve Jobs, Temple Grandin, and me. What do these people have in common? All of these people have been diagnosed with or are believed to have had autism. Autism is a developmental disability caused by differences in the brain. People with autism often have trouble with social communication, listening, learning, or sometimes physical movement. They can also find it difficult to focus on certain tasks and directions. According to CDC's Autism and Developmental Disabilities Monitoring Network, one in 44, or 2.3% of children in the U.S. were identified as autistic. Did you know that here in Cajon Valley School District, 4.2% of students are diagnosed with autism? That means in a class of 35 students, there are one to two people diagnosed with autism. I was diagnosed with autism as a toddler. My parents noticed that I had difficulty with certain age-appropriate tasks, one being that I was nonverbal and doctors thought I might have been hearing impaired. It could be difficult to get help for kids with autism in certain parts of the country, but my parents worked hard to get me the help I needed. Eventually, we ended up moving to San Diego. It was around second grade that I started to realize that I reacted to situations differently than my friends. It was hard for me to stay calm and think things through, and I wondered why it seemed so easy for my friends. Sometimes, I had a hard time feeling included. But my teachers were great at helping me work through a lot of things. I am grateful for the friends and teachers at my school who have helped me grow over the years. One of my challenges is that I can have a hard time controlling my emotions when I get overwhelmed or frustrated. As I've gotten older, I've become way better at not getting so angry when I get a question wrong or make a mistake. What do you do when you make a mistake? How do you react? Well, for me, I've practiced telling myself to pause, calm down, and not give up, which has helped me to regulate, regulate my emotions. But I'm not here to tell you why it's hard to be autistic. I'm here to tell you why it's awesome. Autistic people can be amazing at absorbing and retaining facts about topics they're interested in. We can also have great visual skills and tend to be more focused on details. Autistic people have shown themselves to be exceptionally creative. They are the artists, actors, and inventors that impact today's world. The one place that I've always felt like I belong is when I'm on stage, singing, or doing theater. When I was seven years old, I went to visit my cousins and my mom enrolled us in a theater camp. I had one of the best weeks of my life and I wanted to perform every day. Since then, I've been performing in many musicals. I was Corella de Vil in 101 Dalmatians, Timon in The Lion King, Gertrude in Susical, Belle in Beauty and the Beast, and most recently, The Dragon in Shrek at my school. I also really enjoy being part of the chorus because I love to dance. Whenever I'm in the chorus, I get to sing and dance in more numbers. I love doing theater because it makes me happy and it helps me forget that I have autism. Whenever I do theater, everyone around me is so kind and generous. They don't even care that I have autism. They just think it's cool and unique. In fact, I read about a Broadway actor named Mickey Rowe who said that his autism helped him find strengths for theater arts from things he used, used to think would hold him back. Stories like this inspire me, and I hope they inspire you too. Not only do I love theater, but I like music in general. Because of my autism, I've been told that I'm able to hear harmony parts in songs and hold them well. In fact, music was a springboard to help me go from nonverbal to communicating. A research team in the study found that autistic children were often better, better at imitating and holding pitch than non-autistic children. I've been able to hear musical parts such as harmony and rhythm since I was four years old. When my parents first told me I was autistic, I felt different. But they taught me that being different is actually a great thing. 
I have learned that my differences can become strengths when I focus on the things I enjoy and work hard on them. I no longer try to focus on what I am not, but instead, I focus on what I am, unique. Really, all of us are unique. Autism just happens to be the way I'm unique, and my autism is teaching me new things every day. My superpower is autism, and it will always be a part of my story. It may be a part of yours, too. You are unique and special, and your differences can become strengths when you focus on the things you love. Yeah.